In this video, I'll show you how I built a penny top coffee table that both looks great and impresses visitors. This process can be done with bottle caps, metals, corks, magazines, or anything of your choosing. I started by picking up a side and coffee table on Craigslist. I particularly like these tables because of their beveled edge. The indentation is perfect to set the pennies inside and to catch the resin coating. Once you have your tables, all you need for this project is some glue, painter's tape, a glaze coating, scrapers, a bucket and mixing stick, and of course, lots of pennies. I began by dumping several pennies out, experimenting with patterns. I chose to go with a more compact pattern at the top. Already I found a great variety of pennies. You'll see a wheat penny, a Lincoln Memorial, one of the Bicentennials, the New Shield back, and even a Canadian maple leaf. With the pattern laid, it was time to start gluing. I used painter's tape to work in large sections. By taping them together, the pennies both retained their pattern and allowed me to flip the sections over to apply glue to each penny more quickly. After an hour or so of drying, the pennies were going nowhere. The next step was to mix the resin, which consisted of one half hardener and the other half glaze coating. Make sure to eliminate as many bubbles as possible while mixing. Immediately after mixing, pour the resin all at once into the middle of the table and let it spread on its own for about a minute. Use a scraper to quickly spread out the remaining coating. Be sure to get into all the nooks and crannies and get rid of any air bubbles. Let the table sit for a day or two and it's ready to use. This table includes a few gems such as a wartime steel scent, an Indian head penny, and even a flying eagle scent I found on eBay. Everyone who sees the table loves it and it's a great conversation starter. I'm Johnny Carroll with DTX Media. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more fun videos.